place circle tool in your main toolbar you can get it right here which is place circle or you can also go to your construction toolbar and get it right here place circle a couple different methods on how to place a circle you got center edge and diameter and we'll go over all three of those methods also you have the area that says solid or whole we'll just leave it set to solid for this file here you also have a fill type if you want to put a fill type inside there you have none which won't put any fill and opaque which will make your fill opaque in, inside there which means the the color and also your outline shell of that particular circle are going, going to be the same and then you have an outline method which the outline method will allow you to put a fill color inside here but then your outside shell of that particular circle will adhere to the attributes that you have at the top here then also you have some toggles down below here depending on what method that you that you use that you can tie it down to maybe a certain diameter that you want or maybe a radius first example we'll just use the center method we're not going to worry about a fill and if we go out here it's going to say identify center point where do we want to start this circle at so we'll left click to start it we pull it out and we can just freely place it out there if we want just like what we're doing here and if we left click to drop it off we have that circle created or if you want to tie it down let's say you knew the diameter of this particular circle was 60 foot okay we'll put in 60 we'll make sure that's check marked and then now if we try to place that circle out there you're going to notice that instead of it allowing you to try to freely place that circle out there it still says identify center point where do you want to place it at and your circle is drawn because you have the diameter already created for that particular circle or also the radius if you knew the radius let's say it's 5.75 tap to lock it in make sure it's check marked you'll notice that we can place that circle out there I'll go back to my tool now if we come in here we'll just leave it set to the center method for right now just to show you these fill types real quick if you change it to opaque your fill color is now highlighted and this will allow you to place a fill color inside there if you wish to do that if we click on the color palette here you'll notice that you'll get the MoDOT color palette that allows you to select whatever color that you want I'm just going to go ahead and do red for this example. So I'll do number two. But as you notice here, your fill color, once you change it, your attributes at the top here change also. So the outside shell, which is this portion of the circle, will be in red now, and also your fill color. So I'll left click to start it, pull it out. You'll see that's being constructed. Left click to drop it off. And we're finished. Of course, you got your radius and your diameter if you want to tie those down also. Now, I'm going to go up to my attributes at the top here to demonstrate this last method in our fill types, which is the outline. I'm going to change it back to maybe, oh, we'll change it back to white. And I'm going to change my weight just to something else just to kind of show you this. Change it to 9. We have our fill color still out here. I'm going to go ahead and change it to blue this time. And now we can do the same thing. We can go out here and place that circle. But now you'll notice that the outside shell of that circle is white and your fill color is blue. And just kind of demonstrate that. We don't have our um, line weights turned on, but if I come in here and go to my view attributes, which is right here, or I can select it down below here, and I turn on my line weights, you'll see that it's white here okay so that's what three those three methods allow you to do I'm gonna go ahead and turn that back off now you can change that fill type for any of these methods 
so we're not going to discuss that anymore. Your next method at the top here is edge, which is kind of a three-point method. So let's say I want to construct a circle maybe from one point to another point and so forth. You can do that. And it even says it down below here. It says place circle by edge, identify first point on the circle. So left click once, identify second point on a circle, left click again. And now you'll notice that as you move your mouse around, it's tying it to those two points that you selected. Left click to drop it off, and you're finished. So that's what that method does. It's kind of a three kind of a three point method. And then last but not least is the diameter. What you if you select the diameter, it'll say down below here, enter first point on diameter, and left click once, pull it out, and you'll notice that as you move your mouse around, it's going to place that circle out there. So it's placing it by the diameter, however you draw it up at. Left click to drop it off, and you're finished. Still got your same options down below here if you had a certain radius that you wanted to adhere to. You know, you want to do 40, you'll see that it's still tied down to that. Left click to drop it off, and you're finished.